everyone, Suyin here. We are on the third video on our investments on autopilot series and today we're going to be looking at Stashaway's interface. So let's check it out together. Come on, let's go. Alright, we're logging into the Stashaway app and you can log in with your fingerprints. So that saves time. And here we are on the interface and the first thing you can see is all the things that may interest you and obviously you can see my total assets. So this is how much I have currently in Stashaway because I just started two months ago and I'm doing it via direct debit. So every month I actually deposit 250 ringgit uh, automatically. So yeah, that explains why I only have 500 ringgit at the moment. It's a good start. And if you scroll down, you can actually refer your friends. You can have your own referral program. So you can copy the link right there. Copy. And oh, by the way, this stacks as well. So the more friends you refer, uh, then they'll be managing your money for free for quite some time. So uh, let's have a look here. There are a lot of articles written by Stashaway and they actually explain quite a lot of things. So do check them out. They are pretty interesting. And it's for all of you nerds out there, myself included, uh, who really like to dig deep into how they are doing their asset allocation or the reason behind why they're doing certain things. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And if you haven't set up your portfolio, this is where you do it. You click new portfolio. And what I really like about this is you have options here. And again, more informational videos, cool stuff. You can click build a long-term wealth, which was what I did when I first signed up. And you just have a look on your risk preferences. So if you're a little bit more conservative, you can click this one, the balance portfolio. Uh, and if you're a little bit more of a risk taker, you can click this one. Okay, so if we are looking on the conservative portfolio, you know the knob? or the risk knob that I was talking about earlier in the previous video, here it is. So this is really cool. You can see that you are a more aggressive investor within the conservative portfolio. And you can see that the asset allocation down here changes as we reduce or increase the risk that we are willing to take. So a uh, more aggressive conservative portfolio has 45% of its assets in the equity sector, so in the stock market. And this is the US stock market. And they even show you what they are buying. So these are the particular ETFs that they are buying under this sector. And they will be buying bonds as well. So bonds to actually ensure that you have a stable return. So uh, if you have read quite a lot of books or watched a lot of videos on equities or stocks versus bonds, you will find that people recommend that you have both in your portfolio, especially if you are in the US or if you're investing in the US. So your portfolio is diversified and they have a rule of thumb that's pretty interesting. They say if you are um, what was it again? If you are 20 years old, you should be having 20% of your money in bonds. And as you grow older, uh, with each year, you add an extra percentage to the amount of bonds. So it's just saying that as you age, you should be having more bonds in your portfolio. But I think it really depends on the person. And like for me, I prefer to hold more equity than bonds. So here we have, oh, you can see that they have changed uh, this up a little bit. It's international equities now. And they have a European ETF here. Pretty cool. All right. And obviously they have commodities as well. And they have this in terms of gold. So if you choose this uh, conservative portfolio over um, this portfolio, which is the risky one, you can see that this allows you to actually go further 
and the allocation is quite drastically different. You're 72% in the equity sector, and I don't see any bonds. Ah, there are no bonds. Okay, so only the lowest in terms of the risk scale, the lowest of the risky index. Oh my god, I don't even know how to say this. The most conservative portfolio in the risky uh, risky portfolio. <laughs> That's so terrible. Um, you can start to see your holding government bonds. So have a look and see which one is you. And then you can proceed to continue. And obviously, if you change your mind, you can alter your risk preferences along the way as well. So if you can see here, I have made my decision already, but you can adjust your risks right here and you can do it all over again. So that is pretty cool as a feature and I wanted to show you about the deposit feature as well. You can set up a direct debit and you can change the frequency. One tip that I'm going to share with you that I did not include in my previous video is that there are transaction fees when you deposit and you when you withdraw your money. So watch out for that. Right now I have it on a monthly basis, but obviously the transaction fees stack up. If you want to, you can reduce the amount of direct debits in terms of frequency and you can do it quarterly or biannually or annually but obviously there are benefits for investing your money every month you may be catching the market um, and you're going to be able to dollar cost average uh, if you invest your money once a year you run the risk of buying at one particular price so there are costs and benefits to this as a method as well so what you want to look at next is you can withdraw your funds and uh, this is going to cost you a transaction fee as we have mentioned before in foreign exchange terms and the cool part about this which i can't really show you is this transfer feature Ken, or the country manager for Malaysia, he shared this feature with me. I thought it was pretty cool. If you have two portfolios, let's say you had another portfolio for achieving your life goal, which is also pretty interesting here. You can choose a life goal and work towards it. So you can have several portfolios at the same time. And let's say you are done with that life goal and you wanted to transfer the funds from one particular one particular portfolio to your general investing portfolio you can do that and the cost is absorbed by stash away which is another fantastic feature that they uh that they offer to us as investors so that's very nice and what else? I wanted to show you this uh, this part. This part's really cool. So you can see generally how much I've been depositing. But what you want to look at here is um, all account transactions. Nope, not that one. You want to look at stash away index. And you can apply a filter. You can look to see what they have bought. And it shows you exactly how many units that they bought for you and at what price so yeah it's it's just really cool you can track that and you can also see their sales if you have sold anything recently and another cool thing is you can see your dividends what they do is they automatically reinvest our dividends and i i believe you can opt out of this feature i have not found where is that option yet but what they do is they automatically reinvest our dividends which is fantastic because if you leave it up to us we tend to be you know a little bit itchy on our our end and we will spend our dividends so if you reinvest your dividends you're actually allowing your portfolio to compound better and faster so 
they also give you your dividends and this is accounting for the 30% tax withholding when we invest in the US that's what they're gonna do with our dividends and what stash away actually does is they are able to claim back this tax withholding uh, because they're an institutional investor and they claim it back on our behalf so I haven't gotten any of that but it will come and I think that is pretty cool that shows me that stash away actually has my interests at heart so yeah I thought that was um, something that I really want to show you and yeah that's it you can check your performance so far not much is going on here because I have just started in terms of investing, it's going to take a little bit of time before you actually start to see your returns. And as we know, the, the market right now is super volatile. So it's an interesting time. And yeah, there you have it. That is the interface of Stashaway's mobile phone app. And I hope you enjoyed that. And we are done with our video for today. That is the whole walkthrough of Stashaway's app. If you have any questions, Leave them down below, I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have not signed up for Stash Away, I hope this video was informative and maybe even encourages you to give it a go as it's quite beneficial, very accessible and yeah, I would love to see how, how we can grow our money in this particular platform. So if you haven't done it already, you can sign up through my referral link you will get 50% off your management fees for the first 6 months and what I'll get is a small kickback and that will really go a long way in terms of supporting this channel and I really appreciate it so thank you so much, I'll see you in the next one take care